Greetings, pen pals. Another month is in the book. So here I will be reviewing the pens that I use each day for work in the month of May 2021. So there's, again, no rhyme or reason for these. These are just the ones I happen to use each day for work. Uh, again, for sort of nothing, nothing really super um, uh, specialized, just general note-taking, managing my to-do list, just normal sort of office-type um, uh, writing uh, uses. But I do use uh, a different pen each day. And uh, here I am, and I will go through the pens I use each day in uh, May of 2021. This is a little bit shorter than normal because I did take vacation during the month of May. So um, not a full, full work month for me. Anyway, but no time like the present, so let's get right to it. All right, first up is might be the most unusual pen of the bunch. This is the Oeso self-filling uh, pen. It's got a very unusual self-filling mechanism. It comes with its own specialized inkwell and bottle of ink, etc., to go along with it. Um, it's a pretty nice pen, I have to say. It's very well priced, actually. It's about the same price as a Lamy Safari, um, and for that you get the pen. Uh, the ink well, the ink, everything. Um, it's also Lamy compatible. It will you, you can replace the nib with Lamy nibs. It will also use Lamy cartridges or converters. If you choose not to use the self-filling mechanism, but I think that's the coolest part of the pen, so why would you not want to do that? Um, but you should check out my video on this if you want details, because it is quite, quite an unusual uh, pen. So here we go. First up, our first uh, pen for the month is the Oeso. Self filling pen, and uh, this ink is just the blue ink that comes with it. And they call this uh, Oeso, they call it rubbable blue. I'm guessing that it really means washable, but in any case, I'm just going to call it Oeso blue. It's a pretty nice, kind of basic blue ink, but works pretty well. Oeso self-filling pen. Again, Lamy compatible nibs if you want to change or upgrade the nibs. So there we go. Next up is um, uh, Moonman F9. This is what my uh, friend Doug Rathbun often refers to as a moon blanc. This is a, um, a, a Moonman pen that's meant to look like a Mont Blanc pen. So in this particular case, it's meant to look like a very, very expensive pen from Mont Blanc called the Rouge et Noir. But this is an all metal pen, really pretty nice. Got this whole snake motif going. Um, has a snake uh, uh, head uh, uh, artwork on the nib, so it's actually pretty nice. Um, it uses a captive converter filling mechanism, so that's pretty cool as well. So here we go, we have a Moon Man F9, and uh, this has a fine steel nib. And this ink is uh, Birmingham Gerbera. Moonman F9. R the, the nib, this nib writes really, really well. This is the smaller number five size nib. On the number six Moonman nibs, the last few I've gotten, I've needed to do some work and tune on, but this one worked really nicely out of the box. Next up is a pen from Hang Dian, Hang Dian number 960. I really like the acrylic on this. Very, very nice. To me, it's a very duofold style type pen, um, but it's a nice acrylic pen with a nice uh, number six size um, uh, nib and this one is in fine. So this is a Hang Dian nine sixty, and uh, like I said, this is a number six steel nib in fine. Um, I think it's kind of a little on the broad side for an Asian fine, but it's pretty nice. And this uh, ink is a pretty cool ink. This is called Birmingham. safety vest. Hang Dian number 960. All right, next up uh, is a pair of Wingsung 601As. So we're going to go through them one at a time. This is the flighter version of the 601A. This has the tubular um, uh, steel nib. Um, now this originally came with a black acrylic section 
there is an aftermarket upgrade of the steel section to make the whole pen consistent steel flighter pen, which I think just looks really, really nice. I'm a big fan of these tubular steel nibs. I think the tubular nibs uh, look great and write great, etc. So this is a Wing Sung 601A, and this uh, ink is uh, KWZ Azure number five. Wingsung 601A. And the one after this one is also a 601A, but this is the um, uh, uh, demonstrator body with the steel cap. And this one, instead of having the tubular steel uh, nib, has the regular conventional nib. And again, both of these use this pump, uh, pump action uh, filling uh, mechanism, this sort of pseudo vacuumatic uh, kind of pump mechanism, which works really, really nicely. And this, so again, this is a Wingsung. 601A, and this ink is Krishna Pakaza. Now, Krishna Pakaza is a really nice ink, but the thing about Krishna Pakaza that makes it really special is the bottle. I have a whole video on uh, that ink and the bottle that it comes in, etc. So that's worth checking out if you're interested in this ink. It is a great ink by itself, but the bottle is what makes it spectacular. Um, next up is a Pen BBS 456. This is the Taste the Rainbow limited edition meant for the fans of Pen BBS pens from the Taste the Rainbow Facebook group. So this is a limited uh, edition in this really nice black and red acrylic. Um, it's a vac filler like all four five, pen BBS 456s uh, are and this one has a really nice big number six nib with this uh, like sort of um, a bird logo on it which looks really really cool. So like we said so this is the uh, pen BBS 456 in the taste the rainbow edition. And this ink is also from Pen BBS. So this is Pen BBS. This might be one of my favorite Pen BBS inks, and I do have quite a few of them. This is Chengdu Red. Really nice ink, really nice pen from Pen BBS. Taste the Rainbow Limited Edition. Next up is one of my absolute all time favorite pens. This is the Waterman Le Mans Opera 100. Uh, has a fantastic. 18 karat nib in medium, big, big number six size nib. Just a great, great pen. Um, it's a um, it's a pull off cap. The only down, the only thing that would make this the stops this from being an absolutely perfect pen is I think this pen should probably have a screw cap instead of a pull off. But whatever. Um, it's a, just a great pen. Writes fantastic. So this is a Waterman. Le Mans Opera 100, and this has an 18 karat uh, nib in medium. Um, and this is one of my favorite blue inks of all time. This is Ackerman Delft's Blau. Waterman Le Mans Opera 100. Great, great pen. All right, next up is yet another pen from Pen BBS. This is the Pen BBS 355. This is the one that is basically Pen BBS's answer to a Conid bulk filler. Really, really nice pen. Uh, this one is just in the pl plain old demonstrator version with a medium steel nib in number six. So this is a Pen BBS 355. And this has a medium steel number six nib. And this ink is maybe my favorite green. Unfortunately, it has a name I can't pronounce, but Ackerman does give numbers to their inks as well. So this is Ackerman number 28. Again, it has a name in Dutch that I just absolutely won't even attempt to pronounce because I cannot do it. But Great, great green ink that I really, really like a lot. All right, next up is uh, my Twisby Vac 700R. I have two of them actually this month. 
Um, this is my original older one. Uh, this is just a standard model. Um, they have specialized ones since then. Vac really nice vac filler. Doesn't post. That's probably the, the biggest downside to this pen. So here we have a Twisby vac 700R and this has a number six nib in fine. And this ink is Twisby Royal Purple. Twisby VAC 700R. Great, great pen. I love this pen a lot. Next up is my favorite uh, pen year over year over year when I do my favorite pens of the year video at different price points. This has consistently been my favorite sub $20 pen. This is a Wingsunk 618. Great acrylic pen. Uh, great huge ink capacity, really great piston filling mechanism, very high quality materials, and I just love how you have this transparent feed that really picks up the color of the ink well, uh, ink uh, very well, it works great, love this pen. So this is a Wingsung 618, and this has a steel hooded nib in extra fine and this ink is Noodler's Dragon's Napalm. Wingsung 618. Really, really super, super pen, especially at the price range. All right, next up is um, Pen BBS's second attempt to do this magnetic filling mechanism a little later on. We'll see their first attempt. This is the Wingsung, uh, I'm sorry, it's not Wingsung, Pen BBS's uh, model of 487. Um, now, this one is a very, very plain sort of uh, unadorned uh, pen. Um, again, it's got this magnetic filling mechanism. We'll talk about that filling mechanism when we talk about the 492 in a few minutes. But um, um, this has a medium steel nib from Pen BBS. So this is uh, Pen BBS model 487. And this has a steel number six nib in medium. And this ink is uh, Orochizuku Kanpeki. Pen BBS 487. Writes, writes really well. Again, filling mechanism, a little twitchy, a lot twitchy actually, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute when we talk about the 492 because it's the same filling mechanism. All right, next up is. Uh, uh, my new favorite pilot pen, it might be my new favorite pen period, this is my pilot custom Arushi. This is just absolutely spectacular. I can't really go into how much I like this pen and what's so cool about it, but I did do a full review video of it, so I'd encourage you to check that out. The nib is just a monster. It's what they call a number 30, which is pilot's uh, numbering system in 18 karat in medium. So this is a pilot custom Arushi. And this has a, a number 30, 18 karat nib in medium. And this ink is a Roshizuku. Momiji. Pilot Custom Arushi. And this is in vermilion, by the way. They do make this in black and vermilion. So this is the vermilion one. All right, next up is the pen that used to be my favorite pilot pen until I got the customer Rushi. This is a pilot bamboo. They do not make this pen anymore, but this is just a really nice pen. Really, really fantastic aesthetics and um, a shape, very unique and different. And I really just like it a lot. So this is a pilot bamboo. And this has a 14 carat, what they call a uh, number 10 nib and uh, this is in a uh, medium as well and this ink is a Roshizuku Takasumi Pilot Bamboo really 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 nice pen I like it a lot 
All right, next up is, I promised, is the Pen BBS Model 492. This was their limited edition year of the rat last year. Pen, uh, and this has that new-ish filling mechanism, the magnetic filler. So the way this works, I can't actually demonstrate it with ink in the pen, but there's a magnet here at the bottom of the piston, and there's a magnet here at the top of the cap. And what you do is you engage this two of those, and then you slide the cap up and down the barrel, believe it or not, to move the piston in and out. The theory being that you have no rod or anything in here to take up ink space and you can sort of maximize the ink space. Again, it's a complete gimmick. Um, if you really want to just maximize the ink, just make it an eyedropper. It's all you need. It's, it's a lot less fussy and twitchy as this. The only people I think this pen really appeals to are two people groups of people, as I said before, people who are diehard fountain pen uh, geeks, such as myself, and there are people who are just really into magnets and cool magnet things and magnet-operated toys and things like that, and they would just absolutely go nuts for something like this. But that's really the market for, um, for, for, this, uh, for this pen. It is a really nice pen, but the filling mechanism is just really, really twitchy and finicky. That's the best way I can describe it. Okay, like we said, this is the pen... BBS number 492 and um, this is the magnet filler we'll call it and this ink is pen BBS Petra pen BBS 492 Nice looking pen, very, very unique. Pen BBS has not done a pen that looks anything even close to this before or since, so it has a lot of nice design elements, but like I said, the filling mechanism is really, really finicky and twitchy. All right, next up is um, a pen with a considerably more reliable filling mechanism. This is a cartridge converter pen from Platinum. This is the Platinum President, just a classic, absolutely classic design design from platinum standard cigar shape pen the thing that makes this one kind of cool is it has the coarse nibs so if you can get a look at how big that ball tipping material is on the end of the pen it's a very very broad very coarse writing uh, pen which makes it kind of neat so this is a platinum president and um, this has an 18 carat nib in coarse or double broad or whatever you want to whatever you want to call that and this ink is a pretty pretty cool ink from platinum this is platinum citrus black So the thing with this ink is it goes down pretty bright yellow, but then immediately starts to turn black. It never gets completely black, so there's tinges of yellow will still remain, but um, it's pretty, pretty neat uh, ink. Uh, all right, next up is just as classic and as basic as it gets. This is my Mont Blanc 149. Again, basic cigar-shaped pen, about as absolutely con uh, um, uh, canonical and classic a pen as you can get. So this is a Mont Blanc 149. And this has a 14 carat nib. If you were to buy one today, it would have an 18 carat nib, but this is an older one. So it has a 14 carat nib, but it does have an ebonite feed, which you would not get anymore. Um, so it has a 14 carat nib in fine. And this ink is Mont Blanc. Uh, Royal Blue Mont Blanc 149 just an absolute classic pen all right next up is another Twisby VAC 700R this is a model that just came out within the last year this has this is called the iris model so as you can see it's got this flamed effect any of the metal on the pen has this flamed effect including the nib which is really really neat again doesn't post VAC filling pen really nice so for this pen we use a sheening ink, of course. So anyway, this is a Twisby VAC 700R, and this is in the Iris edition. And um, this has a number six nib 
in broad and this ink is KWZ Sheen Machine. Of course we want a sheening ink to go with the sheening metal on the pen. Twisby VAC 700 R. All right, next up is another pen BBS 456, but this is one that I did a bit of modification on. I took out the stock nib and replaced it with a Fulin nib that is designed to be ground down. So it's got, again, a big ball of tipping material, Matt, and I didn't grind it down, so it's sort of just not really meant to really be this broad. I mean, the thought is you grind it to your own custom grind, but I kind of just left it there. I did do a bit of smoothing, but I left it in terms of the uh, size, so it's going to be a big, fat, broad writing pen, very much like the Pat Platinum President course nib that we saw. Again, it's a vac filler from Pen BBS. So this is a Pen BBS uh, 456, and this has a number six Fulin nib, and we'll call this extra extra broad and this ink is a very very light colored ink so you need a big fat wet nib like this to even use it at all so this is colorverse clear cyan all right there we go pen bbs four, five, six. I basically, basically changed this out because the Pen BBS doesn't offer a v huge variety of nibs. And I just wanted to mix it up a little bit because I have a lot of Pen BBS pens and the nibs are getting a little monotonous for me. Speaking of Pen BBS pens, we're going to end the month with yet another Pen BBS pen. So this is the Pen BBS 355 and this is what they call the V2 edition. So if you recall, this is the original 355. The main difference here is the way that, and this is going to be kind of hard to describe without actually demoing it, but I can't demo it with the ink and the pens. But the pist when you engage the piston to kind of like stow the piston at the bottom of the pen, on the pen BBS P5 original one, it sort of clicked into place. And on the revised version, it uses sort of a pin and hook bayonet style mount, much like a lot of camera lenses actually engage with. That can describe it. They also have a pin that goes straight through here to anchor the cap on the bottom because apparently, it didn't happen to me, but some people complained that this cap actually fell off. So now they have this pin in there that, that ain't going anywhere with that pin in there. So that's the main difference between the V1 and the V2 version of the pen. Other than that, it's pretty much the same and this one has this really nice uh, galaxy finish. So this is, um, like we said, this is the pen BBS. 355 and we'll call this the v2 version and this has a number six steel nib in fine and this ink is robert oster soda pop blue really nice Really, really nice uh, blue ink. I'm a big fan. Speaking of being a big fan, if you're a big fan or even a small fan, one thing that you could really do to help out would be to please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you were to do these things, that would be much appreciated by me. Well, I had a couple of uh, pens this month, not a full month, like I said, because I did take vacation. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, because I sure enjoyed making it. And as always, until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.